Hey gang, I'm at San Gabriel Cemetery. I'm in the Los Angeles area, California. Beautiful little cemetery here, and we're gonna walk to the grave of a famous toy maker. You're gonna love this one. Have you heard of the company Whammo? This goes back, so let's take a walk. So the company Whammo was founded by two guys, a guy named Richard Nur and another guy named Arthur Mellon, Arthur Spud Mellon. And they were both graduates of the University of Southern California, USC. And they had been friends since high school, long time, since they were teens actually, early teens. And they were pretty unhappy with their jobs, like a lot of people, kind of bored. So they said, hey, let's start a toy business. So they started this toy business in their garage and the first product that they came out with out of their little garage was a cool little slingshot. And what they did is it was made of wood and they would demo it and they'd sell it and they'd say, yeah, look, you know, they were really good with it. And they would, and it was a really good slingshot. And the sound that the slingshot would make as it hit its target would be whammo. So they called it, that's how they got the, that's how they got the company name, whammo pretty wild now look at this interesting what's interesting about this grave is the, the marker here is that the first thing that i notice is the the death dates 2011 september 17th and just a few months later february 6th the following year arnold passed away so you have to wonder are these brothers and sisters or this I wonder what happened here. I have to look this up. But when you see two death dates, you just have to wonder what happened. So anyway, they had, uh, they'd been hitting the targets and the, the slingshot was sold to clubs. They were competitive target shooting clubs. And they'd also, you know, people would go out and hunt rabbits with it. And it was a pretty cool thing. So they, they were growing. In 1955, they moved from their manufacturing plant to right here, this area of San Gabriel, California, and they started growing the company. And what do you think would be the first product that they would come up with? It was something called the hula hoop. And it was something where he had heard of this idea in Australia where they would do exercise, they'd call them exercise hoops, and they were made of bamboo. So he's like, well, we can, we can make that a plastic. And I think they put some beads, some things that roll around in there. But anyway, it like, it went crazy. It was the biggest toy fad in modern history. All the way around, they sold 25 million in four months. And in two years, they sold like 100 million. So they kept doing that until the end of 1959. And they netted like $45 million, which is like 400 million today. <laughs> so cool. And uh, of course, you know, I'm just gonna go over some of the other successes. The other big success was the Frisbee. You all know the Frisbee, that's right. So the hula hoop and the Frisbee. So Whammo was like taking off. Now, if that wasn't good enough, do you guys remember the Super Bowl? I remember that as a little kid. You take the Super Bowl. You whip it on the ground and it would go up like 50 feet. You know, it was a compressed rubber kind of thing. So cool. So they had all other kind of ideas. A lot of them flopped. Like he had this, the partner Spud, he had a idea where these fish in Africa, he was on a safari, I guess, and he discovered this fish that laid eggs in the mud during the dry season. So they were like dormant. And once they got wet, they would hatch. So think about it, you could sell those and to kids and then just put water on it and it's like they would hatch. So all kinds of wild, newfangled ideas, but some of the funny ones were, there was a toy uh, called an, a, a, a whammo bird. It was a ornithometer it's made of aluminum spars, wood, steel, wire, mylar, and, and they paint it bright to resemble uh, a hawk or an owl. And I don't know what that thing would do. They did the wheelie bar 
for Schwinn bikes. Remember the Schwinn bikes, guys? Fishing riding, too. So see who can do the most tricks. See who can go the farthest. See who can have the most fun. Remember, you can't do a real wheelie without a wheelie bar. And only Wamo makes wheelie bar. More fun from Wamo. Widely produced. They did an air blaster. They had a thing called the bubble thing. It was a flexible plastic strip attached to a wand. And you dip it in soap, wave it through the air. Giant soap bubbles, remember that? Huff and puff blowgun, crossbows, machetes, boomerangs, throwing knives. You think we could sell that today? <laughs> it's like the easy bake oven, right? Or the creepy crawlers. Just stuff that you could never sell today with the liability. They, they sold 22 caliber shot target pistols, sold by mail order. 22 caliber guns? Do you guys remember the slip and slide? Okay, everybody, come outside. Everybody ready for a wild, wet ride? Slip, slip and slide. You can put it on your lawn. Turn the water on, then you run, 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 and you slide on your top. Slip, slip and slide. That was that sliding surface. You put your hose on it. I think they still sell those. Water wiggle, remember water wiggle? That was whammo. Watch this crazy thing. Why, it's the Whammo Water Wiggle. You've never seen anything like it. Just hook up to a hose and look, a new fun game. It's practically alive. You never know what the Water Wiggle will do next. It's safe and playful. Kids love it, teeners too. It's wild. Monster Magnet, Super Sneaky Squirt and Stick, Willy, a funny furry toy, toy snake. And then there was Super Stuff. Remember Super Stuff? It's Super Stuff. Not a doe or a putty, but a new, new stuff. Super Stuff. Of course, Silly String. I mean, these are, these, these are all legendary, huge toys. Silly String. I think we still have some of that in the house for Halloween. The magic window, trackball, magic sand. A lot of these toys inspired other toys. Roller skates, hacky sack. It was like the first hacky sack. Still sell those today and it goes on and on. So really legendary guys here these two guys and his grave is right here let's see here i think it was right in this group here uh, i guess it's over here yeah there it is and i see it's got like a dog a dog with a frisbee in his mouth richard nur look at that 1925 to 2008 Beloved husband, father, and grandfather. Look at that funny guy. Look at that funny dog. So I wasn't planning on doing any episodes today. I'm just doing this with my cell phone. And this was just too... Too positive of a story to to not tell Richard's a little bit of Richard's story don't know anything about how he was I'm sure he was a great guy and may he rest in peace all right from San Gabriel on to the next on to the next cemetery <laughs>